go ahead and try to fire this thing up. Double check. I don't have anything running. I don't need running. I send out all the bat signals. Yo, what's going on, guys? Eddie here on the Fallaboo channel. And today I'm going to be changing it up, doing something a little little old, a little new. Uh, going to be going back to some roots here in World of Warcraft. Uh, Metal Bud says it's loud as hell. I hear I couldn't tell you. <laughs> all right, let's see. Yeah, let me know. I'm going to be. This is a stream test. Uh, I have never really streamed WoW. I've done a couple of them back on my potato. But yeah, this is a game I've played since vanilla. Uh, I don't know. I can't even remember when I started playing. But yeah, like when it came out pretty much. A couple months after it came out. Uh, I return to it from time to time in cycles. They come out with new expansions, new content. I like the stuff. I've invested so much time. And uh, I really enjoy it. I'm One of the aspects of this game that I enjoy the most is PvP. So if I end up streaming a lot of this game, that's probably the majority of what I'll stream. Uh, actually, a lot of my real-life friends actually play this game as well, so maybe we'll try to get some dungeon content in there and uh, group arenas and PvP uh, and, my, and my friends list too as well from time to time. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, this is going to be a stream test. I'm going to be testing audio levels. Uh, if I want to use the cam, if I don't want to use the cam, if it's distracting, any feedback on the stream on anything that could make it better would be completely appreciated. I appreciate it. All right. So with that being said, today uh, I'm going to be uh, my, my paladin. My paladin is probably – okay. So let me go ahead and just – we'll catch up. We'll catch up. Uh, let's do a little bit of background. Okay. A little bit of background on myself. I don't really remember. One of my first characters was a shaman, but I don't really count that. When I really started playing, I started playing for the Alliance. Uh, well, because, okay, when I started playing in Vanilla, we played on the Horde. And uh, some new content came out. We wanted to change it up. We wanted to try the Alliance. So me, my bros Kyle, and my cousin uh, my cousin Rick, and my, and my bro Louis, we freaking... We re-rolled Alliance, and then uh, I ended up playing this character, Mary Jane. Mary Jane was my druid. Let's actually, lo you know what? We're, we're going to do, it's a stream test. It's going to be chill. I think I even have on there, it's a chill stream. Let's do a little bit of catch-up and find out who I am when it comes to World of Warcraft. Because I never really streamed any of this. If I had a better computer at the time, I probably would have. But no, it wasn't until I got into VR that I really started up in my game when it came to my PC. <laughs> So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, th this is uh, this is the character that I very first took seriously in World of Warcraft. I played it in PvP back when druids were horrible, but I was an amazing flag runner. I think I was. I made a few videos back in the day for friends and stuff, but uh, I never posted anything. Yeah, let's check this chick out real quick. Yeah, see, just to... I got the Justicar title. I got the Lieutenant Commander title. That's a good one. The Justicar is for... Let's see, what do we get Justicar for? Raise your reputation values in Warsong Gulch, uh, Arathi Basin, and Alterac Valley to exalt it. You get the Justicar. Yeah, that's like, uh, and on the Horde, we have Conqueror, but we'll get there. <laughs> so, yeah, she has a Justicar title, and then uh, I don't know if it's going to show it to me in here. The 
Lieutenant Commander. Hmm, maybe it has two different ones. Because I already have that title. I guess they changed it. Uh, back in the day, what it used to mean, because the, the PvP system used to work differently. Back in the day, it used to have like a, a ladder system where the top 13 ranks... Oh, check feats of strength. Ah, uh, no. Okay, uh, events. Yeah, no, I guess they changed it. But what it used to mean is back in the day, the way PvP used to work is you used to, uh, like, the top 13 tiers, uh, the, top, the th top 13 ranks for PvP in a given season or a given week, I think it was a given week, would get titles. And so if you were number one on your server, you got, like, the Grand Master or Grand Marshal, I think it was Grand Marshal, uh, you got the Grand Marshal title, and then rank two had a different one, rank three had a different one, and I think Lieutenant Commander was rank 10 or 8. I can't remember and so yeah if you got that if you got like whatever rank you got up to you unlocked that title for like ever oh hey welcome to the stream domi uh, yeah it just showed me right now yeah i was trying to find oh here it is earned the title lieutenant commander at level 60. yeah so that means like i did that like way back in the day that was 10 years ago. Well, that when I got credit for the cuz I think that's just the day I think that's the day that like achievements went live or something. Yeah, that was just the day the achievements went live. So I actually got it before then. But yeah, so that was that was man. That was the majority of my wow experience in the early days. Then we moved on from uh we went back to the horde. I got a lot of twinks. I like to twink. We went back to the horde on Chromagus. So let me let me let me just fill you in. I played a druid when it was like a horrible to play druids, but I like playing the underdog. So I played a druid. I got really good at it, and then I started playing my warrior when warrior sucked. Uh, back in like I guess it was Burning Crusade. Yeah, back in Burning Crusade, like the second expansion or the first expansion. Uh, sound went out. I don't know. Oh no, it's back. It's back. Oh, okay. Oh wait, oh no, we'll go back. Yeah, so I got, uh, I we switched over to the Horde. I was like, oh, I'm gonna play a warrior. Warriors are gonna be awesome because I was playing a Druid at the time and I was like, man, if I was a warrior, this would just be much better. False, when the new expansion came out, warriors took hard nerfs. But I played it anyways and I, I just kept obsessing and playing and playing and playing. I got as good as I thought I could get. I don't think, I, I'm not sure what kind of titles I got on this guy. I think I got the Conqueror title on him, but. I didn't even take a look at the amount of honorable kills these guys have. I should do that. Oh, all this junk everywhere. All right. Let's take a look at... Let's see what kind of titles this guy has. Yep, Conqueror right there. Put it on the board. Another Conqueror. So that's a Justicar and a Conqueror for this account. Is it at uh, player versus player? The Conqueror raised reputation values in Warsong Gulch, Arathi Basin, and Alterad Valley. There it is, folks. I mean, that's just two. That's just two right there. That's how much PvP I've done on this account. Like, that's two characters I've shown you so far where I've maxed out reputations with the top three PV with the original three PvP battlegrounds. That's nuts. Like, I haven't even looked at all these characters in a really long time. Look, he's still wearing a full set of Season 3. Oh, this is dope. This is dope. Man, this is a walk down memory lane right now. Not even kidding. Hey, what's going on, skinny seahorse? Welcome to the stream. Checking out some uh, World of Warcraft here. It's a stream test, so I'm kind of going through some of my old characters, but uh, catching up to what I'm doing these days. This was a, a, a warrior that I played on the Horde back in Season 2, Season 3 when warriors were awful. Didn't like, <laughs> didn't like it at all. Alright, let's get off of this guy. I, and then, okay, after that... 
my boy Kyle, his cousin started playing, or we found out his cousin played, and he's like, dude, I'm on an amazing horde server. It's like almost all horde, and we're like, hey, that means there's a huge horde economy, and so we're like, all right, let's go do it up. So we changed realms again. We went from Chromagus. To where I settled here on Malganus, and this is where I put in a lot of work over the last few years. As you can see, like in Legion, I played my Paladin, my Warlock, my Demon Hunter, my Druid, my Shaman, and then to a little bit I played a, a, my I caught up my Warrior, my Hunter. I don't think I played. I didn't play my Death Knight at all. Played my Mage a little bit. Played my Monk a little bit. And I'm thinking about using this 100 level boost token that I've been saving since Legion. I've been thinking about using that on my rogue, because rogues are just so damn strong in BFA. But, if we're going to talk about my favorite characters, I don't know. After Mary Jane, I stopped playing Druid. I still have my this Druid Shift Escape. It's just Druids are much different from back in the day when I used to play a Druid. So, uh, I've been leaning my main characters over the last few years have been uh, Sin Eater, my Paladin, which I mainly, for PvP I play him Retribution. Uh, for PvE, I'm no stranger to playing him as a tank. I'm real, I, I excel at PvE damage charts, but uh, I do, I like controlling the mechanics as a tank. So for PvE, I tend to, I tend to go tank from time to time when, uh, when a tank is needed. I used to play a lot of, you can see, okay, I still have like the season two, season three hat for my Warlock. Yo, welcome to the streams, look cool. Uh, I still have my Season 2, Season 3. I, I still use it as my transmog. I played Warlocks back in the day when they were awesome. Like, when they had Siphon Life, Soul Link, uh, Spec. And you can see, I mean, I got, I think I got up to 2200 on my Warlock back then. But, uh, oh, he's a Conqueror too, by the way. <laughs> I didn't show you that. But yeah, he's a Conqueror as well. So that's, boom, three Conquerors. That's how much PvP I've done on this account. Like, and yeah, I've done a lot on a lot of alts, and but on on these dudes, I I did enough uh, WSG, AB, and AV to unlock the Conqueror title. That is that is crazy amounts of PvP, crazy amounts of PvP. My account is older than most of my kids, I think. Let's see. Let's see it. Conqueror! Put another one on the board. That's three Conquerors, right? Yeah, Mary Jane, Gigi Bai, and Fearlocks. That's three Conquerors. That's a lot of PvP. Let's check out this guy's... Uh... Show me some honorable kills. 47,000! 443 honorable kills. <laughs> I've been playing it in BFA. I got, I mean, I got it up to 115, and it was just horrible. Like, I couldn't stand it. You can ask my friends. Hey, Metal Bud's here in the stream. Uh, we have a group chat for uh, our real-life friends on Facebook, and, uh, man, I just, I complained about it, like, nonstop for an entire day. I was like, man, I've tried everything. I've tried new keybinds. I've tried new specs. Like, uh, it's just freaking horrible. But, uh, I... As I haven't, I don't have a 120 yet. So uh, as I was playing my Paladin more, which my Paladin was just freaking awesome, like right out of the gates, 110, 111, 112, just romp and stomp. And uh, my Warlock, not so much. Didn't feel like that. But what I have noticed on my Paladin is that yeah, he was great right out of the gates. But as I've been getting closer to 120, like at 119 right now, we're gonna go play my my Paladin here in a minute. This is my main right now. He's the character I love the most. I loved him the most for years. I've got so much time and effort invested in him. I just That's the character I feel like... Uh, that's the character I'd like to take to the fight. He's not the greatest. He's not even going to top the charts in PvP DPS, but the utility is just... It's my favorite to play. And so, anyway, second to that was my Warlock. And, uh, man, you can see. Lots of, lots of work. Putting in lots of work. 47,000 kills. But here in BFA at 115, I'm just I'm playing Affliction, and I'm just not feeling it. We'll take a look at my spec real quick for my Warlock. Uh, I just did I redid all my keybinds. We might be doing a little bit of noobing it up today because I am I'm switching over to mechanical keyboards for the first time in my World of Warcraft history. Well, no, I started out on a regular uh, QWERTY keyboard, 
And then after a couple of years, like, no, no, not even. Because I want to say at the end of Burning Crusade, so like in 2008, I switched over to a Wolf King Timberwolf. And I used that for like a decade. And uh, I'm actually kind of terrified to be moving back away from it. But I recently picked up a mechanical keyboard and I've been loving it so much for when I play like uh, Fortnite and PUBG that... I decided to give it the good old 100%, you know, honest effort to try to play World of Warcraft with it. Uh, I personally don't feel 100% comfortable with it yet, but... And maybe I've just been getting lucky, but the PvP scoreboards have been saying, man, like, okay, I, I, maybe I can be a contender with this. At least for, like, my own casual gameplay, maybe I can feel like I'm having a good time when I'm playing. So anyway, yeah, these are the PvP talents that I've settled with so far from my from my Warlock that I've been having a semi-successful time with. Uh, Nightfall for instant uh, instant shadow bullets is good for... Because the thing is, is that all of my damage is dots. So my theory craft behind it is I'm going to load up dots. And while I'm loading up dots, I'm going to be waiting for my corruption to tick off uh, shadow bolt, uh, instant shadow bolt procs. And when it does... While after I've loaded up all my dots and I've got frequency damage coming from my, all of my dots, boom, shadow bolt, and I'll just increase like a spike, a spike in frequency DPS. So I don't know. That's the thought process behind it. Uh, and that, and I've got a lot of stuff like rotten decay. Each time you drain life, deals damage, and increases the duration of your unstable affliction, corruption, and agony on the target by one second. So it's going to prolong those dots. And Essence Drain, whenever you heal yourself with Drain Life, the enemy target deals 5% and reduce damage to you for 6 seconds. That's up to 5 times. That's 25% less damage, yo. Like, I mean, that's hard to ignore. So I want to be using Drain Life more than anything. And Drain Soul was my go-to in Legion but uh, because it had the Drain Life component built in. But these days, I want to be using Drain Life. And so I just couldn't find a good time to be using Drain Soul and to keep my sh soul shards pumping up because i i do i'm that noob i just want to boom 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 unstable affliction all over everybody metal bud twitch sounds are much louder than your voice so like the um when like somebody joins and stuff like that i wonder if i can turn that down i think that's on chatty Hmm. And I think my mic volume is all the way up. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. Maybe turn up your mic volume. No, yeah, it is. It's. I think it's up all the way. Which is weird because I'm sitting right in front of it. Huh. Are you talking about like the clack 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 whenever somebody types and the bing and the when somebody comes or join uh, when somebody joins or leaves? Let me see if I can turn those settings down. Sounds. Oh, sounds are notifications. Okay. Let me see if I can adjust this real quick. Sound settings. I don't think I can actually access the volume. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, let me see if I can turn this down. Yeah, that's loud. Okay, let me turn that down. Okay, yeah, I found it. There we go. This is going to be much better. This is going to be much better. Can you hear right now when I'm testing it? Yeah, there we go. Oh, hey, TD Maker. Welcome to the stream, man. 
Uh, hey, bud, I have the demo of Warcraft. It's free until level 20. I'm at 18. LOL. Hope all is well. Hey, TD Maker! Dude, welcome to the stream, man. Like, oh, it's so amazing. We have, like, so many things in common. Hell yeah, dude. Kindred spirits, for sure. Uh, he's at 18 already? Yeah, dude, it's a totally fun game. I have some characters I keep under 20. I'll definitely try to check you out sometime. Uh, I don't even know how, like, things have changed so much. I don't know how to send, like, I think, like, I think my number is, like, Falibu 1418 or, I don't know, something. Yeah, Metal Bud 2. He says, I have some characters I keep at level 20 for when I don't feel like playing. Same. Yeah, I keep some characters at, at, like, level 20 just, like, to play, if nothing else, to play with friends when they play for free. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Welcome. Yeah, dude, all is well here. To tell you the truth, man, I haven't streamed in a while. I've been so busy with work. Work has been great. Like, when you're a part of a cell, you know, when you're self-employed every time, you know, work, like, you really enjoy when you get to work a lot. And uh, for, like, the last two months, we've just, our home business has, we're well, not home business, but uh, our family business has just been doing so great. I've been working every day, which unfortunately mean, meant that I didn't have a whole lot of time for streaming. But today I got a day off. Kids first day back at school, so I'm not gonna have little people running through my area all day long. <laughs> and uh, I'm still waiting for some stuff for work to show up this afternoon. So I had a free morning. I was like, hey, let me show some people what I've been up to. Man, it's awesome to hear that you've been checking it out too, dude. That's incredible, that's incredible. Yeah, this is just, it's been one of my favorite games over the years. I play, I play lots of games, like, lots of games. I, I, for, from World of Warcraft to all my VR games to, like, Overwatch to, you know, first-person shooters, Dead by Daylight, like, Battle Royales, like, Fortnite and PUBG. Like, I'm just kind of all over the place. I just, I dig it all. I'm a big fan of games. I like seeing what different games do. Uh, for their for entertainment like hey entertain me with different modes show me something I've never seen before and this, wow never ceases to amaze always something new But yeah, this is what I've been doing with my warlock I think I worked out some of those sounds metal bud. Let me know let me know how those sounds if those sounds are a little bit softer now uh, Oh and my desktop audio doesn't seem to be coming through at all There we go that was weird. There it is. Okay, yeah, now I can hear, like, the birds in the background and stuff. But, yeah, what I do is I mostly PvP. That's what I do with a lot of my time. This was the guy that I've been... This is probably going to be the second character I get to 120. Uh, demon skin. Use demon skin because it's passive. Phantom singularity because it's heals. Mortal coil, more heals and fear. This because I don't like my pet. Is, my pet is dumb, and I don't like dealing with dumb pets. Uh, and soul conduit because I like to have soul shards. I'm the guy. I like to drop lots of unstable afflictions so That was the guy I was working on but my time-honored favorite we're gonna go check out my paladin now This is what I do when I'm playing World of Warcraft All right, and then we're gonna test a PvP I'm gonna go I'm gonna queue straight up for PvP while I show you around my paladin and uh, I want to see what the audio levels are like when I play PvP. I need to know what sounds are too loud, what sounds are not loud enough. And uh, war mode. War mode always on, bro. Metal Bud knows me, man. I'm always at war with everyone. <laughs> oh, shoot. The door. Huh. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm ex actually expecting some packages. I'll be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. That was one of the packages I was waiting on for work. Alright, so here's my paladin. Let's go ahead and queue up for some PvP because it is a little bit of a wait. Another 31,000 kills. Almost 32,000 kills on this guy. Like, put your boy Falibu putting in work. Spilling lots of blood, lots of bodies. Falling by my sword. Yeah, it's been a legit. It's been a ride. It's been a ride. This guy, I don't have the Conqueror title, but it's because I don't do AV as much anymore. And I think AB is a little bit hard to get, like, consistently. Let's see, what do I have on him as far as working towards the Conqueror title? Because you would think with as much as I play this guy, he would have the Conqueror title. 
But the fact of the matter is, is I got so many Conquerors before because I was PvPing a lot back when those were the only three Battlegrounds to play. Here we go. Yeah, hey, he's actually... He's actually almost... Okay, so he is exalted with AV. I'm almost... Ex I'm like less than a thousand to be exalted with AB. And then WSG. I'll just queue solo for WS... Man, that might be something worth streaming. WSG is probably... Well, it used to be one of my favorite battlegrounds to play. I don't know how it is in this meta, but yeah. W I used to just... I constantly would tell people over the years if they would have just sold me w, uh, WSG Warsong Gult in a box when I bought World of Warcraft if they would have just sold me WSG in a box sold I'd have bought it instant bought it for all my friends like hey let's go play this all day long <laughs> so yeah I might just cue that like all day long for a while just to max out if I get that close to conquer well I mean since I am that close to conquer not right now because I still need a thousand for defilers as well but yeah if i get close for that last little bottleneck all right so let's go ahead and check out my paladin before i get too deep into anything okay so i'm legit terrified because like i said i just remapped all my buttons to work with my my freaking my my proteus logitech uh proteus mouse and uh proteus i think it was proteus core yeah it's the what is it it's the Oh, I can't read it from here, but yeah, it's the Proteus core, Logitech Proteus core. So I remapped most of my buttons, and I was starting to get the feel for it. It was actually working out pretty good. Like, I'm very resistant because I am. I'm afraid of change. I'm so afraid of change. But, uh, but yeah, no, I mean, between last night and this morning, it's actually been working out. Uh, hopefully, it wasn't just luck because it was actually going so well that I was like, I need to stream this. Like, it's just, I'm about to hit 120, and everything could change. Let me at least stream a little bit of goodness. Let me see. Yeah, let me just stream at least a little bit of this goodness before it goes away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Metal Bud just hit me with a gif here on the side. <laughs> it says, how to war mode. And it's got a guy that says, safety always off. <laughs> A how to war mode. Boom! Safety always off. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of my achievements. Uh, let's see. That's Cy oh, that is. It's Cyrus from Trailer Park Boys. Dude, I haven't seen Trailer Park Boys in forever. I think it's on Netflix now. I need to check that out again. All right, so yeah, almost 32,000 kills there. That's pretty legit. I like it a lot. Oh, uh, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah, my talents. Let's look at my talents. Uh, shift N used to be my talent button. It's not there anymore. Hmm. I don't know where I put my, my talent. Oh, okay, so I don't. Yeah, I need to rebind to that real quick to shift N. All right, so I'm going to be using Zeal. Judgment empowers you with Holy Zeal, causing your next three auto attacks to occur 30% faster and deal an additional 255 Holy damage. It's passive. You know, let me go ahead and talk about my spec. It's passive. And, uh, you know, it causes your next three. Uh, every time I judge, my next three auto attacks, boom, 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 boom. You know, instantly faster. And they deal an additional Holy damage. Not to mention, every time uh, I attack... It gives me a chance to proc off Blade of Wrath. Art of War resets the cool of down uh, of Blade of Justice 100% more often and increases its damage by 25%. Well, let's look at Art of War. Okay, Art of War right here. Your auto attacks have a chance to reset the cooldown of Blade of Justice. So, with Zeal making my next three auto attacks go faster, I'm actually increasing the man blade of wrath every time I judge this should reproc so I always try to hit this first and then judge because my and then hit with some auto attacks because chances are it's gonna proc and refresh the refresh the cooldown on that so that's what I use 
Uh, Fist of Justice, each holy power spent reduces the remaining cooldown of Hammer of Justice by two seconds. I'm a big fan of Hammer of Justice. Yeah, I throw hammers all day, laying hammers down. And I spend lots of holy power, like lots of it. I go through it like it's going out of style. So uh, the, the more stuns I can get, the more damage I can get in, the more free damage I can get in. And I'll show you how I'm doing that in a second. Wake of Ashes, I'm going to take this every single time because I was a big fan of the way uh, the Legion did their artifact weapons in the, uh, in the last expansion. And uh, this was the special ability on my old school Legion artifact. So well, my Legion artifact. So uh, I like to bring that. I, I got used to it. I like it. It instantly fills up. So to read it out loud, it lash out at your enemies, dealing 6,301 uh, 6, radiant damage to all enemies within 12 yards in front of you and reducing their movement speed by 50% for 5 seconds. Demon and undead enemies are also stunned for 5 seconds. Generates 5 holy power. Instant full holy power. So, uh, and it's on a 45 second cooldown. So, I mean, pretty much like once a fight, twice a fight, like you can get this to, to, to pop off. And so what I like to do is fill up naturally on holy power, stun somebody, dump all my holy power, using Justicar's Vengeance, force, uh, focuses holy energy to deliver a powerful weapon strike that deals 4,501 holy damage and restores health equal to the damage done. Damage is increased by 50% when used against a stun target. This is why I want to be dropping all them stuns, because every time I stun, this thing is going to do... Uh, instead of 4,500 damage, it'll do like an, add an additional 2,250, so that's like 6,750 damage. And it can crit? Like, I've seen this thing hit for over 10,000 in PvP at 119. Alright, so yeah, I, I'll, I'll blow all five, and it costs five holy power, so I'll fill up all five holy power, stun somebody, or hit my wings, stun somebody... Drop this Justicar's Vengeance on them. Boom! All five of my power are gone. Hopefully I critted them. And then Wake of Ashes. Wah! Back up to five holy power again. And then... Wakata! You know, another Justicar's Vengeance. Hopefully another 10,000. I'll take down half of somebody's life. Like, just instant. And I've been doing this combo since they introduced this combo. I've been telling all my friends about it. I think I even made a couple short videos. I just never posted them anywhere, but... Man, that combo is just the sauce in PvP, for real. Uh, Killer Saw says, uh, the explanation works better with hand gestures. <laughs> I agree, 100%. 100%. Wah! Just the car's vengeance. <laughs> and then, last but not least, Divine Purpose. Your abilities to consume holy power have a 15% chance to make your next ability that consumes holy power free. And deal 30% increased damage and healing. So yeah, every time there's that little gold thing above my head, this is why this is why I built this this build is very specific. It works for me. It works the way I intend it to, and all of the skills work very well together. This one, I mean, maybe not, but I uh, whatever. I like to have two charges of divine steed. Catch me on my steed. How about that? <laughs> and so anyway, so yeah. So the idea is is that blade of wrath generates two charges of holy power so i want to be using that as often as i can not only that but i also uh on some of my extra armor the crits also give it a dot so that's in, that's pretty good that's good so uh and then zeal helps me cast that more often so those two things work really well together uh this reduces the cooldown of my my five second stun uh, and I want to be using that as much as I can because every time I do, I want to use Wake of Ashes, uh, Justicar's Vengeance, which is going to do monster damage. And then Wake of Ashes is going to help me do two of these. Uh, for sure, for sure. And then Divine Purpose gives me a 15% chance on when I hit this twice. I could potentially, it, it doesn't happen very often because it's 50% chance on each try, but I could get four Justicar's Vengeance. Maybe not all within the five seconds of the stun because you're still subject to the global cooldown. But, uh, I mean, I'll get two or three of them off for sure. Two of them for sure. Three, And then the third and fourth one, that's just gravy. I'm just going to be hitting that button because it's just still ginormous damage. And it's for free. Why not? Yeah, for sure, for sure. 
Yeah, hey, Kill us all. Welcome to the stream. That's another one of my real life friends. I play this game with Metal Bud, Kill us all, and my boy Deadset. Uh, we we all play together a lot. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, and then war mode. All my characters war mode. Always turn on war mode. Like, just why not? You know, you're gonna get to use. Oh, let's talk about my PVP talents. I use adaptation because I'm lazy. I don't like to drink it, and maybe that doesn't make me pro, but oh well, I'm lazy. Lawbringer, Judgment now applies Lawbringer to initial targets, hit for 45 seconds, casting Judgment causes all enemies within your Lawbringer effect to suffer up to 5% of their maximum health and holy damage. Whew, I didn't even know that used to just make my stuff go further. So every time I judge, boom, 5% of your life, gone. Nice, I like it. When your hand of hindrance is dispelled or otherwise removed early, the cooldown is reduced by 15 seconds. Not bad. Your blade of justice applies. Yeah, that's why I use this one. Your blade of justice applies hand of hindrance to the target. Y'all know I like to cast blade of... I've already talked about how much I like to cast blade of wrath. Blade of justice. The blade of wrath is blade of justice upgraded. Uh, and then jurisdiction. To increase the range of your hammer of justice by 10 yards. Hammer of justice. Oh, yeah, so I can stun further away. I like it. All right, what is the... All right, it looks like we're at 11 of 13 minutes. Let me go ahead and get a warm-up here so I'm not going in totally cold. So let me show you this combo. Oh, he died too fast. But, yeah, and then he was going to catch another one of those. All right, now i got to wait another 40 seconds to get that back. Oh, well. What am I doing here, anyway? Nothing? I guess I had some quests to turn in. Alright, I'll go do that while I wait. I'll fight some stuff on the way. I still, I'm still, i still getting used to these keybinds. Oh, you know what? Hey, there's a there's a named mob up there. What is his name? Zanziv Dengorge? Sounds like a porn name. Three, two, one. Not too shabby. Let's put the deeps in his beeps. Here we go. to kill that ad. Probably be the thing to do here. Oh, I should have laid down that stun first. It's alright. We're going to get it back right here. Yeah, that was 8,000 right there against that dude. That hurt. That was a lot of damage. Still getting used to the keybinds, too. Oh, and I didn't even have wings on. Yeah, World of Warcraft is just one of those games I always come back to over the years. Eventually, I, I get burned out because I obsess over it a lot. And I usually take a break towards the end of an expansion. But man, I love the PvP. And the story is really, really good. Like, as you far as RPGs go, better deal. the story is amazing. I will be seeing you. All right, you don't have any more quests for me. That's cool. Moving along, then. Let's see, can I fly over there? I wonder if I have that flight path. I don't. All right, we're hoofing it. Let's go.
and I'm fighting a lot because I still I still try to, I gotta build muscle memory for this. I got the kickoff. I wasn't sure if I was gonna stun him or not. I've been working on the muscle memory to get that stun down. Oh, I'm not even buffed. Oh, got the third one. Ah, I got all three of them in. That's what I'm talking about. So for, I don't know if anybody else caught that. But that's why I use those those talents. Oh, no, let me. I don't have my talents bound. I need to I need to bind that to a keybind to bring this back up. But yeah, that's why I have the divine purpose and the Justicar's vengeance. Because every now and again, divine purpose will proc, and instead of just using the two Justicar's vengeance that I had holy power for, I got a third one. And not only did I get the third one, the third free one was a uh, holy. It consumes it holy power free, and dealt an additional 30%. So when you count in the fact that it's doing okay, so this the the attack already does 4500. And then it's doing an additional 50% because the guy is stunned and then an additional 30% on top of that. That's an additional 80%. I mean, that's just it's too hard to ignore. Too hard to ignore. Oh, WSG, let's go get it. I need this rep. I love to WSG. And I get over there really fast. Love that Paladin Crusader. Oh shit, I gave somebody else. Oh man. I gave somebody else my buffs. I'm gonna have to redo my buffs here in a minute. Look at that, just getting free stuff all over the place. And I'll heal up. That'll work. Oh shoot, I moved the game over. I need to lock the, uh, <laughs> I need to lock the miles to the screen. I need to just play full screen. Oops. <laughs> Let's see, did I mess anything else up, I wonder? Yeah, you can see how much I love that combo. Where did he go? Come back here. Oh, invisible. Dang. Come on. You two. You're not going nowhere. Heal me! Oh no! Abort! Evacuate! Oh 
now that I got some life, where are you going? <laughs> Alright, let's go get back in the fight. Ah, he was, he's in a bubble. Alright, let's look at this mage. Come back here. Yeah, just go ahead and stand still. Oh! Dude, they gotta totally jack my kill. My sprint is not gonna get it. Where am I going? I forgot that I was supposed to be going after the flag carrier. Somebody just asked, how's the flag carrier? Oh yeah, I forgot we're doing that. I'm just here trying to roll face. Oh hey, you know what? I got the guy. Dang, priests can take so much damage. There we go. Oh! He's not gonna have sprint. Oh yeah, luckily I have the chat box blacked out because they are not happy about what's going on right now. Yeah, 2 and 0, oh, not bad. I also have the most damage done. Top damage right now. Almost 500k. Oh, I can't run fast. Oh, these guys were noobs. You should have let both flags reset to get rid of the buff. I got the buff at 9 stacks right now. Not bueno. Not bueno at all. All right. And I get no movement speed with this many stacks. And my damage taken is increased by 100%. Do I look afraid? I might I might look a little bit afraid, right? Uh oh. Gotta get out of here. Pretty good. Sure. Oh no, come on, come on, come on. Uh oh. Nothing I can do about it. Oh, too much damage, too much damage. They DPS me, we didn't DPS them.
Oh no, feels bad. All right, let's try to get that next one. We need to defend better. At this point, what they're gonna do is defend now though. They're probably gonna turtle. Oh hey, that was their flag, right? Boom! Put another one up on the board. Alright, I'm going after the flag carrier this time. I got it. Your blood fallible returns the flag. I'm gonna go after the mage then. Totally noob that up. I should have stunned him before I did both of those Justicar's vengeances. Oh well. Alright, you want some? I got some for you. Woo! Hit him for 8,000 right there. It's alright. Killed the paladin while a mage was on me. Because no Fs are given. Not a single F was given right there. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this, but, I mean, I feel like a winner? I don't know if that makes any sense. But, I mean, I'm used to this. Like, I feel like if I had, like, nine more dudes just like me, but we're, they were used to their keybinds, we'd be doing great. <laughs> you gave them the Fs. Oh, don't let that druid get away. Oh, I, I, I couldn't get the Justicar's Vengeance in time. <laughs> F on life. <laughs> That's right, Kill Assault. I bet a lot of Fs were given over there. Retreat and heal.
Get out of here. You too. Oh. Huh? The feed store? Okay. There we go. The Alliance wins. We lose. But I'm on the top of the damage charts. I feel good about that. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't, but I do. I feel good about that. Did I, I think that's a... I broke a million. I think that's... A thousand thousands. I think I broke a million. I think I, I got... A million and eleven thousand damage done. Shoot, how high up on the healing charts was that? that high, um, nah, I guess I'm just mediocre on the healing charts. Killing blows. One, two, three, four, fifth for killing blows. Five and two. Not bad for the losing team. Oh, and this hunter was just going nuts. Ten and two. But yeah, I was in there. In there. Rolling face. Just rah, 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 putting damage down. That was good. That was good. Another reason I'm not so mad about that is that means I didn't win, so I didn't get the maximum amount of XP. So that means I get to do it again here in the level 19 bracket, uh, 119 bracket. And that was not too bad. Like, I only started with these keybinds last night. So I'm like completely, pretty much completely learning how to replay the game right now. Mouse went all crazy and all right. I think I reset it back. Perfect. Oh, let me sign up for the next one. And PVPing is like a really good source of XP in this expansion. This is probably the best it's ever been. I used to use Divine Storm a lot more in Legion. They nerfed the crap out of it. Well, because to tell you the truth, one of the things that made it so strong was all of the uh, artifact traits that you would put in. You would make your weapon better through experience. And yeah, the artifact traits made Divine Storm like crazy good. Easy. Alright, what does the queue time look like? Oh, one minute of 13 minutes. Alright. I might do some... Well, uh, the thing is I really want to do Battlegrounds. Ooh, yes. I don't know that I can this handle... Going to like right now I'm practicing rise. these new keybinds in Battlegrounds. I'm not sure that I can handle Greetings, all the pressure. Outsider. In Arena, it's just you. What do you want with Hanzabu? I've been getting lucky enough to like fight people that are targeting now. other people. That doesn't happen so much in the arena. <laughs> yeah, once I get more comfortable with these keybinds, though. All right, let's kill this dude. Oh, got the free proc. Yeah, that's how much damage this is. Look, that's incredible amounts of damage. Oh, 
Oh, where did he go? That's why I like Paladins. It's so easy mode. You just heal up real quick. Easy mode. Easy clap. Alright, that's cool. There's Blood Witch Najima. Only two types enter Bwansamdi. Uh, Bwansamdi's temple anymore. Those looking to make a deal with death and the dead. You do not stink, so I guess you are the former. I'm headed to, temp uh, to the temple myself, so how about a trade? See the land across the bridge. There is a witch named Najima that I have been tracking. The blood trolls are out, are corrupt to the core, but her souls are useful as offerings to Bwansambi. She is so strong for me to deal with, but if you can slay her, I will take you to the temple. All right, bet. Are you gonna be my warm up? All right. That combo is just so good. I wonder if more people are using Justicar's engines this season. Your blood gonna fuel us. I wasted that. I didn't even have a Justicar's vengeance to throw at him. To Bwansamdi! Alright, that's the correct pronunciation of that. Now, let's get out of here. There is a shrine up ahead called Zobal. Meet me there. Okay. I could do that. What is that timer looking like? Five minutes, 13 minutes? Yeah, usually I do these quests. Just as filler between my PvP times. Like, this is what I do during Greetings, the downtime. Outsider. This should do it. Her soul is perfect for an offering. Now, before we go to the temple, there is one more thing to do. This is a sacred place to Bonsamdi, but now it's a little more than a ruin. Even the spirits are unable to escape the passage of time and have faded away, leaving only the drain husk behind. We will return them to life. Here, I have been collecting the souls from my hunt into this charm. Use it on the drain spirits and we will bring this place back, back to what it once was. Use Hanzandu's charm to resurrect the spirits of Zobal. Alright. Do not lose your soul. Got a Ouija board? Put it to the test. Oh, I'm gonna like rebuild the town here, huh? <laughs> he just hit me with some hubba jubba wubba -bub. Bring some more people back from the dead because that works out so well so often. What do you want with Hanzabu? Wait. Something is coming this way. Who are you? No stranger. worries, my Not friend. Not a blood troll, or the spirits would have cut you down. Forgive the intrusion, my friend. I have come with an urgent request. Alright. 
One of our scouts, Jochunga, has infiltrated the Blood Trolls, but we have not heard back from him. I need your help to find Jochunga and see what he has discovered about the Blood Trolls. If you're going to find him, you need to sneak in by looking like one of the Blood Troll women. <laughs> They're the ones with the most freedom to move around. I have a ritual that can change you. <laughs> it helped me set up the ritual to make you look like a blood troll. I help which doctor Kajabu complete his ritual to disguise yourself as a blood troll. Alright, so we're going to do some uh, gender swapping here. Gender and race swapping, I guess. I will see you later. You need the voodoo? I have much more to do. A deal is a deal, and I pay my debts. Bonsamdi is a mighty lawyer, and you are going to need a powerful ritual to obtain his attention. You are in luck. I already know exactly what, ne what needs to be done. Bonsamdi's uh, temple, the necropolis, is just to the north. Meet me in the courtyard, and we shall see about obtaining an audience with the law of death. Speak with Hanzambu in the courtyard of the necropolis. Watch yourself. Uh, I will go on ahead to prepare for the ritual. Meet me there when you are ready. Well, first I gotta change into a blood troll woman. No outpatient surgery required. What do you need? Is that all? I should warn you. This may hurt a little. <laughs> well, most likely a lot. <laughs> The blood troll women are in charge of the war parties, so you will need to look like one. Trust me. <laughs> this will work. There. You have the spirit of a blood troll within you. The no, magic don't. will what transform the you when you get near their village. Oh, I see. You need When I get closer. Voodoo. I know you might think nothing has changed, but trust me, the voodoo worked, I think. You should transform into one of the blood trolls when you're near Zalamar, one of their villages. Jochunga should be there somewhere, most likely near a large gathering of blood trolls. Find Jochunga and tell him I have sent you. Then see what he knows about the situation there. Sneak into Zalamar to find Jochunga. Take it easy. Once you get near the camp, think you will be transformed I was not into one of them. All right, let's but go take care of this side be first. Be this disguise is not perfect. <laughs> I don't like the way he laughed about that. What about it's not perfect, bro? <laughs> Alright, where are we at on this PvP timer? 10 minutes. Alright, 10 minutes and 13 minutes. Not bad. Ah, uh, you know what? Let me go get this rare mob and the chest right next to him. good. Except that I didn't hit my wings. Dang it. I nubbed it up. Gut rips tramplers. 273 boots? Nice. I'll take that. I will take that. Oh, and I didn't even check my box the last time. Nice. 273 cape. With leech? Bet. And these boots? 273 boots? I'll take that. What's my item level now? 270? Alright, cool, cool. that chest I can never find these things I don't even know what they are I just know I gotta click them alright that'll work done bet
What is that? Oh, I gotta eat some eat some greens. Nice. Alright. I'm a woman now. I'm a blood troll woman. Hmm. I'm just saying. These people could do worse. <laughs> How are we going to get out of this one? Kajuba sent me. Shh, look, we must sneak away. Among the blood trolls, yes, the females are the leaders. Me. Give me an order to go inside Bring the hut over there. there. Say I am to prepare a blood ritual. I Nobody. must commune with the master. Nobody will bat an eye at your ordering me around. All right, Chojunga, I need you and that hut over there to be getting the blood ritual ready. Try to come back in one piece. I listen to your mother. I be going now. That's right. Scamper along. I'll follow you. Supervise. Make sure you do it right. Dark times. Good. We will be dark. safe in here. I'm happy that you are here because I am not able to stop this alone. I grew up hearing stories of the savage blood trolls, but this is worse than anything I was told. Isolating Zalimar. I read the law of bats has been corrupted by Goon. He will get no help from him. We will get no help from him. We only have one potion if they have a law on their side. We must kill Hire. Hire. It's crazy. And we will both probably die, but I have a plan. We need to isolate this place first. The blood tools have war drummers who sound an alarm if anything happens here. We need them gone, but you have to be sneaky about it. You have a good disguise, so you can order the drummers to go leave their posts. Order war drummers, Saljo, uh, Shiz, and Gix to leave their positions. Alright. Take a break. How to be a blood troll. You will have to blend in if you don't want anyone getting suspicious. This won't be pretty. There are drudges around the camp who have been tied up as part of a ritual. They have been beaten as a test to make them stronger. Any who fail the ritual are sacrificed. The ones who succeed are allowed to fight the Zandalari. If you are going to blend in, you need to test these drudges as part of the ritual. It's weird, but that's how they work. Test five unproven drudges. Watch yourself now. All right. I need you alive. Huh, what's that? That's cool. Good to see you, my friend. Glad things are well. I have to go. Hey, TD Maker, thanks for stopping by the stream, man. I appreciate it. And, hey, dude, I've been checking you out on Facebook. Uh, you've been having a lot of fun with that Richie's Plank experience. Keep it up, dude. See you around, man. Yeah, let me know if you ever want to check out some more. Wow. Take care, buddy. Hoping to get in another PvP vow. Oh, I'm already two minutes over the time. Hell yeah. Yeah, the level 20 bracket is, like, really good for PvP. That's another reason why I like to keep a character in the 20s. Like, you can just go on PvP really fast. I'm gonna whip that guy into shape. Yeah, and I plan to be getting back into VR as soon as uh, I get caught up at work. I have a pretty physical job, so I try not to work and game too hard on the same days. Oh wait, what did I did I miss something up there? So on days when I work, I generally do flat gaming, and I'll probably start streaming more of that. And then on days when I don't work, I'll probably go hardcore in VR. Mara, what I be doing for you? There can't be needing more wood. Go and receive 30 pieces of the only most pristine lumber. I'm going to come back when I'm done, Mara. All right, cool. Oh, battleground time. Let's get it. Get in it to win it. Let's go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the chat there, I can find it later. Oops, all right.
right, let's see what I can do with this. We got some guys on our team that are going to try to go lighthouse right off the bat. I'm not going to do that. For the horde. Let's go. Let's get it. I like the spirit. We got lots of for the hordes running through the, the yell channel. Nobody came to the house? Okay, so they're gonna go hit the mines. No one came in waterworks. Right, I'm gonna stay here though, because this is where they're coming next. Oh no, part of me wants to go back over there. That's where the fight's at. Uh, this is I, I probably shouldn't do this, but I want to go get in the fight. We need that guy dead. Oh, nice. I just hit 120. Woo! He's a maniac. Maniac. Oh, dumb, dumb. All right, let's go. This is my last time in the 119 bracket. Dang it. Let's make it good. Let's make it good. Stupid gato. <laughs> Did you think about what happens when I turn around? Fight me over here, bro. Away from your healers.
Come on, get it. There we go. Gotta get that priest down. You guys next? Hey, how's it going? You all come here often? Not even worried right now, bro. Ah, okay. I should have been a little bit more worried. <laughs> Not too bad, though. Three and one. That's cool. Oh, we're losing? How are we losing? Oh, they have waterworks. Maybe I shouldn't let waterworks to begin with. I had fun, though. I had fun over there at Lighthouse. That was a good time. Let's go have some fun over here at Waterworks. Oh, this is going to hurt you, bro. Oh, feels bad. Feels real bad. Lies, I don't. That feels real good. <laughs> I didn't even have to stick him with all three, but I mean, just the fact that I could have, that was dope. Dove right in the face first into the wall. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, hey, somebody stole my junk. I got that back. I wasn't saying anybody needs some heals. I could use some heals, huh? Oh, no. Did we lose the mines? Oh, no. Okay, we got the mines back. We got everything. We got everything. All right, so then we should push. I'm gonna push lighthouse. Yo, what up, Dom? Hi. I hit 120, so the easy mode is probably the easy ride's probably over. I probably have to gear up before I go do 120 PVP. I don't know. I might do one more just to see what it's like. Seems legit. Six and one. I'll take it. I could go back and get the mines, or I could stay here and fight all these guys. I kind of want to stay here and fight all these guys. Or chase some guys down. That's what I want to do. 
There we go. Alright, 6 and 1 with 606,000 damage for my last PvP rat match before I hit 120. I have no idea what it's going to look like after 120. This is my first 120 here in Battle for Azeroth. The World of Warcraft's new expansion. 458 honor gain. Not bad, not bad. I like it, I like it. Alright, let's see what the 120 PvP looks like. Go ahead and queue it up. Let's see, did I get anything? Any objectives? Yeah, I gotta go back and meet with somebody. But let me gotta test some more dudes while I'm here. do to me <laughs> what happened the doom gaze started just cranking oh, me poor little thing you been needing some help from old Buonsamdi I, I mean if Buonsamdi wants to bring his butt out here and help me I wouldn't turn it down <laughs> I take out his collars first. That needs to be interrupted. <coughs> and I need to not step in that. I got it. What the hell is going on here? Stop doom gazing at me. took forever oh what did I get nice that's why oh sweet got a new head oh and I got some boxes here 285 ring I'll take that oh am I gonna replace a legendary ring though dang it oh. all right Let's let it happen I guess
don't work anymore. Can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here with some of my heirlooms? Ah, there goes a legendary. Alright, let's pick some powers. Let's see. Your spells and abilities have a chance to increase your haste by 432. That's pretty good. Actually like that a lot. Now that I'm out of combat. Oh, that's a cool head. Oh, I do. I look like a Zandalari paladin. That's cool. Showing a lot of skin this season. Let me disenchant some of this stuff. don't want to disenchant that. I'm going to save that, I think. My legendary ring. It was good. It was good. It served me well for an entire expansion. <coughs> and a half. Well, half of my leveling experience in this one anyway. Really, dude? these guys into shape I can do the pain but I'd be ready to fight so we're like clicking these guys into the set right now I think is what's happening oh it looks like I need to repair oh, I have just the thing Wonder I have many lucky dudes you like <laughs> many farewells One more. Got to whip one more guy into shape. But I drank it. That's how I roll. Live life on the wild side. They can't be needing more stone. Go and recover only the purest of rocks within Nazmir, 60 of them. I'm gonna do one more PvP match and then take a lunch break. Check this stream out, see how it went. Ugh, I hate blood trolls. Oh, I forgot to get that last one. 
War drummer Gix. Need to remove him from his post. We're gonna do some dirty deeds on this town. We need 50 of something. Go get it. <laughs> oh, hey, what's going on over here? You got a side quest for me? Your people are doomed and joined me, and you will be saved. Ah, Paladin, you must be Sin Eater. I have heard whispers of your name. That's right, this guy knows what's up. He's heard of me. Uh, maybe you are smarter than these two. Zoldazar will fall to the blood trolls. You know this. You can be saved if you promise to serve me. I can give you more power than you have ever imagined. Listen to what I can offer you. Listen to Zadrax's speech. Join me and be saved from the destruction of Zoldazar. Alright, Lich, tell me your offer. Haha, <laughs> witness my power mortal and know that you can save a pot you can have a part of it. Zoldazar will fall to the blood trolls and goon, but you don't need to share that fate. Serve me and be saved, and I will give you a part of Goon's power. Goon will consume everything. There is no hope. You could be spared if you serve me. Goon promised that. I don't know. I've been burned before. You have no choice. Zuldazar is doomed. Goon will be freed. If you try to fight, you will be crushed by your forces. So this guy Goon, I mean, you could let him come and work for me, maybe? But if you join me, you can receive more power than you ever dreamed of. Feeling pretty powerful already, bro. Oh, I gotta break free of the control. Zydrax be tempting us to join him, but that ain't gonna work. We're gonna stop this lich and anyone else who wants to help the blood trolls. This lich Zydrax be trying to corrupt us to join his side scene. I not be falling for it, and I know how to be stopping it. He be gathering power from the mounds of skeletons. We gotta burn them to cut Zydrax off of some power. I be strong in the fire mojo. I can be imparting some of the connection to the fire. To you to burn the mounds. I be staying here with Kaljan. I think Sadrax be getting to him. Destroy three skeleton mounds with Darjul's fire mojo. Okay. I'm ready to receive that fire mojo. Here we go. You stay faithless while I be giving you uh, part of the fire mojo. There, that be most of it. I can be giving you without hurting myself too much. Go and burn them skeleton mounds. How you doing, man? Ah, oh, it's you, Sin Eater Zydrax was, has me on edge, saying we're all doomed, that there is no hope. I had a plan to stop him. All we had to do was kill a Hexer, Nanakorg, who is helping spread Zydrax's power and steal, uh, steal the fetish she is using. Then you'd give that fetish to Daljul, and he'd give his voodoo to grant us more power, but it's hopeless now. Maybe we should just side with Zydrax. How can we stop something as big as this? I feel like we should just cut this guy off already. I feel like he's a liability to the troll empire. It's kind of punk. Spirits be with you, man. All right. Oh well. There's more quests and there's legendary dudes over here. You know about that life. You're just gonna have to wait. Uh, you have no means of identifying the corpse, but the clothing appears to be that of an Imperial Guard from Zuldazar. A quick search of the area reveals a trail of blood that heads off to the west. Perhaps if you follow it, you can discover the cause of the death. Discover what happened to the Imperial Guard. Alright, but first... Venom Jaw. Three of them off on him. That venom, though. Yeah, that 
That venom hurts. I shouldn't have fought him in a pool of it. <laughs> oh well. Oh, battleground time. Let's get it. Alright, this one's not too bad. 120. Let's see what happens. Oh shoot, this ah joined a losing fight. Feels bad. You want some too? What? How did he get another bubble? Get him after this healer is done. Come on, where's my shark? Oh, I don't have my shark mount. Shark mount, go! Dang it! Not much I could do about that. What is this up here? Oh, honor. Uh, oh well, I got in. It was a losing game. I got two kills real quick. Can't feel too bad about that. Could to go ahead and leave the battleground. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, well this stream has gone on for about an hour 45. That's not too bad for my first WoW stream test. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up on that, get some lunch, see what my work day looks like, see what uh, packages I'm still waiting for. And uh, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. If you liked it, want to see more of it, leave me a message down on the VOD. Uh, or if this ends up on YouTube like it probably will, you're seeing it on YouTube, hit me with a like. You know, share it, subscribe. Definitely let me know down in the comments section if you like this, want to see more. Till next time, this has been Eddie on the Fallibut channel, streaming to you from inside of World of Warcraft. Till next time, take it easy, guys.